Joining us to discuss all things Love Island uh, is uh, Aoife Kelly, entertainment editor at independent.ie. It's a really positive kind of show. I'm not so sure it's a positive thing, I have to say. Does it not increase this, the, the, the body conscious, the narcissistic kind of thing that is developing at the moment? Everybody in it has ridiculously good bodies. Is that not creating a new norm? But that's kind of the way reality TV is these days. These are the kind of people who get involved. And I think people at home are aware of that. I don't think people are you know, necessarily influenced by that. I think it's uh, that's just, it's kind of how the, the other half live, you know. I think it's a bit naive to think that it's not reflective of what's actually going out there in society with young people. The dialogue, I think it's fair to say, is less than sparkling. In fact, I think we can, we can listen to a clip <laughs> of um, them talking about Brexit. What do you think about Brexit? What, what's that? Like, I well, we're <laughs> leaving the European Union. I don't, I, I seriously don't have so a So, like, if you, so it's to, it was to leave the EU, so we wouldn't uh, be part of EU, Europe. Yeah, which would yeah, mean, yeah, like, yeah. welfare and, like, things we trade with would be cut down. So does that mean we won't have any trees? Text coming in already on Love Island. Hugh says, call me a snob, but I object to Love Island and the like due to the fact that it celebrates stupidity and makes a virtue of it. With pleasure. You're a snob, Hugh. Yeah. Uh, millennials You're also right, well. though. You're also right.